It is now in order to consider amendment number two, printed in House Report 111-503. For what purpose does the gentlelady from California seek recognition? Oh, excuse me, the gentleman from California. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I have an amendment at the desk. The clerk will designate the amendment. Amendment number two, printed in House Report number 111-503, offered by Mr. Cardoza of California. Pursuant to House Resolution 1424, the gentleman from California, Mr. Cardoza, and a member opposed each will control five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from California. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I yield myself such time as I may consume. Recognized. In recent weeks, we have seen a small but, uh, but slow and steady improvement in the national housing market, while other parts of the country, like my congressional district in the San Joaquin Valley, have continued to deteriorate. I have repeatedly explained to the administration that their programs are not doing enough to stem the problems of the rising tide of foreclosures in areas like the Central Valley of California. As this economic devastation continues, we must redouble our efforts to help our constituents as we work to improve the fundamentals of the economy and hopefully eventually pull ourselves out of this situation. We must ensure that we are doing everything that we can to help those who are suffering the most. Counseling services are just one component of this comprehensive approach that we need to deal with this ongoing crisis. People must know their options when faced with foreclosure so that they can make informed decisions based on their own personal circumstances. Navigating these options is often difficult, stressful, and confusing to those who have never had to deal with such issues. Counseling can help some people find ways to stay in their homes while it offers others a path to resolve an impeding foreclosure and get back on their feet. If we are going to incentivize mortgage servicers to provide third-party counseling to borrowers who are behind on their mortgage payments, then we ought to make sure we give priority to those areas who are hurting the most. My amendment would prioritize foreclosure counseling services to areas of the country that have been the hardest hit by the housing crisis. I urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to support this amendment and to refocus our efforts on those who need the help the most. I reserve the balance of my time. Reserves this time. For what purpose does the gentlelady from West Virginia rise? Um, I'd like to claim time in opposition, although I'm unopposed to the amendment. The gentlelady is recognized. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. And I rise in support of the amendment offered by the gentleman from California. As my colleague from California knows all too well, rising foreclosure and delinquency rates continue to affect all areas of the mortgage market. Secondary markets for mortgages have seen a significant drawback that has led to a reduction in the availability of credit. Lenders have tightened credit standards, making it more difficult for delinquent borrowers to refinance. At the same time, because of falling home prices, and certainly in many parts of the country, like the gentleman's uh, home district, borrowers are finding themselves unable to refinance into more affordable or fixed rate products because their outstanding mortgage loan balances exceed their home's values. States such as California, Florida, Arizona, and Nevada continue to dominate the national delinquency and foreclosure markets. The Cardozo Amendment prioritizes assistance to the areas that have been hardest hit by foreclosure and unemployment compared to the rest of the country. I am prepared to support the gentleman's amendment, and I would like to say that one area of the gentleman's amendment I, I particularly uh, am in favor of because we kind of go through this discussion on a lot of different bills, where to put the greater emphasis, and I think the greater emphasis and the greater dollar assistance needs to go to the places that are the hardest hit and do have the most difficult problems. And so I think this is uh, well-intentioned, and I would support the amendment, and I would like to reserve the balance of my time. The gentlelady reserves her time. The gentleman from California. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I thank the gentlelady for her comments and her support of my amendment. Uh, it's uh, very important that we do move in this direction. Mr. Chairman, at this time, I'd like to yield one minute to the chairwoman of the subcommittee, uh, a true champion for those who are trying to remain in their homes, and, and she's done so much to try and help us uh, alleviate the challenges that we face in my district and throughout 
our state. Uh, the gentlelady from California, Ms. Waters. Gentlelady is recognized for one minute. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to thank my colleague from California. I certainly support this amendment. Uh, the gentleman from California has been one of the most active members of this Congress in bringing attention to the economic fallout of the foreclosure crisis. I am well aware that his district, located in my home state of California, has one of the highest foreclosure rates in the country. California has the nation's fourth highest foreclosure rate, with one in every 192 housing units receiving a foreclosure filing last April. Unfortunately, due to the economic impacts of foreclosures on communities, high foreclosure rates are sometimes accompanied by high unemployment rates. At 13 percent, California's unemployment rate is higher than the national unemployment rate of 9.5 percent. By prioritizing foreclosure counseling services to the hardest hit areas, this amendment would ensure that the homeowners most in need of these services would receive their them, helping to stabilize communities that are already facing economic troubles. I support this amendment, and I certainly thank the gentleman for offering it. I hope my colleagues can vote yes. Gentlelady from West Virginia. Again, I, I voice my uh, support for the uh, amendment, and I'd like to yield back the balance of my time. Gentlelady yields back her time. Gentleman from California. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, this amendment is straightforward and common sense. I believe that Congress must ensure that all efforts to provide assistance during these difficult times actually help those that need it the most. I urge adoption of the amendment, and I yield back the balance of my time. The question is on the amendment offered by the gentleman from California. Those in favor say aye. Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. The amendment is agreed to. It is now in order to consider amendment number